Great evening to each and every one of you. Lakeisha McKnight is here and welcome back to Leadership TKO, The Night Show. Uh, And I am super excited to be here tonight. Now, I tell you, we have some amazing, amazing things coming up. Now, if you're new to this podcast, understand that this podcast is a media outlet for a limited liability company. That's right. LLC. Um, company that's based in Chesapeake, Virginia, that's entitled the International Leadership Education and Development Company, better known as the iLead Company, right? Or LMBI. Some of you heard of it as LMBI, right? And so this particular podcast, this station, uh, what we do is we partner up with associations, we partner up with small businesses, uh, with faith-based organizations, uh, with universities, to build winning leaders. We build winning leaders. We can build winning leaders in the corporate world, those who are in business. And of course, uh, by default, we build leaders in the home because of course they have to go to a home, right? (laughs) So we build winning leaders inside of the home as well. So that starts from, of course, the adults. We have the kids that become leaders. We impact a wide number of individuals. And so thank you so much for being connected to this particular station. Understand, we don't take it lightly. We don't take it we don't take it lightly that you're connected to this particular brand itself. Uh, but Leadership TKO is very dear to me and I'm quite sure many others. And we know that you are listening in from all around the world, whether you're listening in live or to some of the episodes on demand. We appreciate you. And I know there are many from the Virgin Islands, uh, from the Republic of Korea, Uh, from China, from Norway, Sweden, Greece, the United Kingdom, uh, South Africa, Germany, right? Ghana, Kenya. Oh my gosh. Throughout the United States. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And for all the faithful listeners, thank you so much. Some of you tune in live on the platform. We appreciate you. I'm just going to say we appreciate all of you. I don't want to single anyone out. If you found find anything helpful when you're listening in to these episodes, go ahead and hit the little heart that's next to it. Hit the little like button that lets us know that you're enjoying what you're hearing. It's very important for us, for us here, a part of this station. Now, when I say station, we're going to be gradually expanding this particular station. So this is why it's important for you to, of course, follow the brand, go to the website. This is the primary brand website. We're going to give you the station's website that's being worked on really soon. It's being updated because right now we're in the process of having some co-hosts join us. And as a matter of fact, we actually got our first co-host a part of the leadership TKO station and I'm happy to announce her really soon but we have to get her well prepared uh, to get on the air so I'm super excited to share uh, more information about this young lady that's going to be coming on and she's going to have her own time that her show is going to air so stay tuned for that Uh, but Thank you uh, for those who are going to be tuning in and definitely tuning in to the other co-hosts who are going to be a part of this station. Now, visit the website to learn more about the brand, which is www.leadershiptko.com. So what I'm going to do, even as I'm live here, I am going to share inside of a special group on Facebook uh, that I am indeed live. And that way we can get uh, more of Um, listeners live even while I'm here and presenting to you so hopefully we can get this over to them and it looks like we can so I'm going to go ahead and say uh, join me now as I am live here we go all right so we just posted of course inside of our private group excited excited about that Um, And so one thing about this brand is that we do have several subdivisions, okay? Uh, We have Leadership TKO for authors, Leadership TKO for speakers. We have Leadership TKO for marketers. We're also going to have Leadership TKO for believers, which is going to launch in 2018. Uh, But we also have one powerful subdivision, which is the Leadership TKO for women, Now, that particular subdivision actually launched at the end of February, early March. Um, And this is when I was in Asia. For those, you know, those of you may know this already. I was at a leadership conference and we released it, kind of launched it there. Uh, And then it really became official when we had a convention. Um, Just maybe about two weeks ago, we had a convention. And if you weren't there for the convention, you missed it. Um, Women came from different places, different states, and they were boldly declaring that they are women and that they were born 
to lead. And so again, I am extremely honored to have had those women present. Um, And it's not just myself that launched the subdivision and this campaign. It's a global women's leadership campaign that is launched connected to the leadership TKO for women brand. Okay. And um, I am not the only one that launched this subdivision and this campaign. It's myself as well as five other great women, Dr. Remy Duye. We have Cheryl Harris Sutton, uh, Maricela Messner, Takara Steele, and Dr. Remy Duye. Okay. We also have Shalia McDaniel. If I missed her and I didn't say her, we have Shalia McDaniel that's a part of this project. So all of these great women, all five of them, um, has partnered with me to really propel and push this campaign forward. And I'm extremely, extremely happy to have those women on board. So um, ladies, if you're listening in uh, to the podcast, thank you so much for all of your efforts. It's greatly appreciated. Um, but thank you to those of you who are listening in once again. Thank you, Janine Harris, Harrod Brown. I'm about to give you a new last name. Harrod <laughs> Brown. I appreciate you for listening in live right now. I do see you on the platform. Hope you're doing well. Uh, thank you for all of you who are listening in and just didn't shout out uh, that you're listening in live. And if you are, go ahead and click on the little chat area and say, hey, Lakeisha, I'm listening in. That's totally okay. Totally Okay. But thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, if you're listening in and you're interested in being a co-host, let me know. Just comment in the little comments area or get in contact with me on Facebook. Feel free to do that. Um, You can connect with me on Facebook by going to facebook.com forward slash L McKnight Speaks. That's L-M-C-K-N-I-G-H-T-S-P-E-A-K-S. L McKnight Speaks. That's a way in which you can get in contact with me on Facebook just to say, hey, Lakeisha, I'm interested in being a co-host, a part of the Leadership TKO station. All right. <laughs> I'm just looking at the comments. Uh, but yeah, thank you so very much. And, and we have something special we're going to be continuing to talk about tonight. As you may see, at looking at the podcast episode title, uh, we're really talking about how traumatic situations can impact uh, bonding with women. I know we talked a little bit about trauma and some traumatic events on yesterday, but you know, when he digging into it a little bit deep, okay. And we're going to jump back into how you can get connected to the campaign in just a moment, but I want to focus in on a topic at hand and that has a lot to do with trauma. Now we've all experienced to some degree, some level of trauma in our lives, but for others, it could be the case that they continue to relive that trauma in their lives and they're not completely healed from the trauma. And at that particular point, it can turn into post-traumatic stress disorder or PTSD. PTSD. And I just want to share a, a little bit of information about that. I do believe I have some information right in my little repertoire here. Okay. And I just want to share it with you. Okay. So just bear with me just a little bit. Now, post-traumatic stress disorder is a severe anxiety disorder that develops following exposure to extreme psychological trauma throughout history. And says throughout history, PTSD has also been known as Okay, it has another name to it now. Railway spine stress syndrome, hmm. shell shock, battle fatigue, and traumatic war neurosis. Now, you commonly hear about um, PTSD when it comes to uh, veterans, those who are connected to the military in some way, shape, or form. Uh, but you can receive and you can be, have PTSD from other means as well, um, whether it's a severe situation pertaining to rape or molestation it could be really anything that shakes your world it sh- it can shake your world okay um and i just really wanted to talk about how the fact that there's a big big deal about ptsd about 5.2 million adults suffer from ptsd during a given year all right and that's huge about 10% Okay, 10% of women develop PTSD sometime in their lives compared to only 5% of men. So there is actually more women developing PTSD than men. 
that says and speaks a lot. Now, what are some symptoms of PTSD? What are, you know, what are some signs that a person may be suffering from PTSD? They may be, uh, you know, actually sharing or revealing some form of numbness, guilt, anger, bad memory, hopelessness, self-destruction, shame, lack of focus or no focus at all, nightmares, insomnia, hallucinations, and even flashbacks. Okay, so these are just some things to think about as it pertains to PTSD. Now, you may know someone who suffers from many of these symptoms here, and they may be experiencing a little bit of PTSD, although they may not be um, professionally diagnosed with it. So this is just something something to think about because it's, it's really, really important And if a person is suffering from PTSD, they really, really need to get some additional help. And if you know a female, if you know a sister, an aunt, a grandmother, whomever, someone who may have formerly been in the military, all right, or someone who have experienced some level of trauma and you know about it and you see these signs, these little symptoms here, talk with them and even, of course, just connect with them. And if they're willing to be open to seeing someone or talking with someone about it, then yes, then help them by all means necessary. Please do that. But most importantly, if you are a spirit led person, pray for her. And even if it's a male, pray for him as well. But this is huge because experiencing some level of trauma, whether it's war related or abuse or neglect related, it's really, really critical, right, for you to, uh, to realize that even if he or she does some things that is not like her normal self, right, you realize, just as we talked about last night, you don't know the shoes or the situation that that person had to go through or experienced. So until you fully understand, you have to seek first to understand then to be understood, Okay. Find out what's going on in that person's world. And that may explain why he or she may have done what they did, whether it be some type of verbal backlash towards you or they just weren't acting like their normal selves. Okay, don't judge them, but seek to understand them first. But these type of things, whether it's even related to religious elements like church hurt, you ever experienced church hurt? where you felt rejected by someone, a part of the church, and it could be any denomination or any religion. It doesn't have to be just Christianity, right? But any religion out there. So it can be any level of trauma that shakes your world. It can impact your ability to have healthy relationships with family members or with other professionals in the community. And this is big. I see Janine. Janine actually mentioned something very powerful. She says, it's huge. My brother suffered with it and needs medication to make it through the day. Wow. This is big. Very big. And because I just reported that more women suffer from PTSD than men, then we really need to take this a little bit more seriously and consider that. Because if a woman woman experienced domestic abuse... And it was like that serious extreme to the point where they were beaten black and blue, had experienced several moments of being in the hospital. That's trauma. That's life shaking. That's I don't know if I can trust another person. So we really need to be sensitive to the things that go on and happen in people's lives. All right. And love them beyond their hurt. Love them beyond their scars. Because love can heal. Okay, love can heal. And that's what many people need. We all need it. Some people more than others based on what they're going through in the season of their lives. So let's just consider that and think about that as we're progressing forward, because we don't know what the other person may be experiencing. And until a person completely heals, it's really going to be it could impact their ability to have healthy relationships 
and it may take some time. Don't expect for the change to happen overnight because healing can be gradual. It doesn't, sometimes it's not that miraculous type of healing that happens instantaneously. Okay? So, again, pray for your sisters. Pray for yourself, okay? So that we can all live healthier lives and have healthier relationships um, between one another. That's the best piece of advice that I can give you. And love hard and love genuinely. And without judgment, just like Janine says, without judgment, for sure. All right, so this is what, these are just some of the things that we talk about here, part of this Global Women's Leadership Campaign, because we want healthy relationships. So part of the mission, once again, is to connect with each other, celebrate each other, and love one another so that we can become healthier leaders as women. So we're going to continue to talk about this a bit more, of course, on tomorrow. Uh, Remember, we do have the interview, a part of the Global Reality Show, Okay, the global reality show that we're having on Thursday at nine o'clock and it's going to be live here on this platform. So just tune right on in same time, nine o'clock p.m. uh, And we're going to have the interview and it's really going to be a video conference, but you'll be listening in if you're just going to be on uh, if you're just going to be on this pod, this this radio station platform here. Okay, but if you do want to listen, you want to watch the video conference, we will try to add the video conference link. Um, if, if it's not going to be in the description today, it definitely will be in the description for tomorrow. That way you'll be able to click on it and, and participate. And remember, remember the time zones now. Our time zone is 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so you may have to adjust and convert your time over so that you can watch the video conference live while we're there, okay? All right, so here's how you, if you're saying, well, Lakeisha, I'm enjoying topics like this. It's real... Uh, You're being transparent. I enjoy it. Remember to hit that like button. But we also want you to join us and connect with us a part of this campaign um, so that we can really impact the women in your state or in your country. Because this is just not a United States campaign. It's not just a virtual campaign here. We're live. We're in person. I will be able to touch you if you say, Lakeisha, I want to bring this campaign to my city or my state. We're going to try to do our very best as God gives us the wisdom and the strength. We're going to try to do our very best to get on over there where you are, coordinate and make it happen so that we can do a seminar, a convention, a conference in your state or your country. You could be in the United Kingdom right now. You're saying we need this. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's make it happen. You could be in Korea or China. Let's make it happen. It's all about collaboration and for the betterment of women around the world. So you can get connected by simply going to www.borntolead2017.com. Again, that's born to lead 207, 2017.com. Uh, and when you go to that website, it's going to direct you to the questionnaire. And it's a quick little questionnaire. It takes about two minutes to complete it or less than that. It's going to direct you after you submit that form on a laptop now, not on a cell phone. Don't submit it on a cell phone. You might face some errors. So do it on a laptop. And when you submit it, it's going to take you to a Facebook group. And you just simply request to join the group. And then you're an official member of the campaign. Just that simple. Okay. If you want to learn more about the entire campaign, all of the elements included in the campaign, visit www.leadershiptkoforwomen.com. Again, that's leadershiptkoforwomen.com. And remember, uh, we do have some other small things coming up. For example, we do have a, a virtual forum. This is a forum that you can participate in on your computer. Okay, just like the video conference on Thursday, you'll be able to participate in the forum that's happening on this coming Monday. Okay, this coming Monday at nine o'clock p.m. We're going to replace the regular podcast episode with a video conference. Now, if you're listening, if you're going to listen in on Spreaker, 
you're going to just listen in. You're not going to see the video. But if you want to watch and see what's going on via video on your computer, we're going to make sure you have the link. So stay tuned for that. We're going to post the link uh, for that virtual conference as well as for the video conference for Thursday. So stay tuned. We're going to get that done and get that ready for you so that you can participate. But thank you for all of you who are listening in tonight and who have been connected um, since day one. So we thank you so much, Janine Harrod Brown. We appreciate you. (laughs) We appreciate you. Thank you so very much. And for everyone else that's listening in around the world, we appreciate you. And we thank you so very much. So, of course, I'm going to be exiting now because I think I have to go speak to the leaders, a part of the campaign tonight. Um, But, of course, we're going to be back tomorrow at 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, talking more and delving deeper into trauma. Okay, so thank you so much. But until tomorrow, remember to think, speak and live leadership.